Hi, Eric Lenask with TMC, coming to you from the Javits Center in New York. We're here at uh, Cloud Expo 2012. Aaron, lots of excitement around the cloud, we all know that. What's the latest that you're hearing? Yeah, what, the latest thing that we're hearing is the latest that we're seeing in too. It's pretty exciting. It's uh, seeing companies here and our own customers start to move more uh, mission critical and database intensive applications into the cloud. And cloud really, even more so just over the last 12 months, has become less of a test dev and uh, website front and is really being used to, to drive the production environments for uh, large organizations and small organizations today. So that, that for us is a big trend that we're seeing that we're excited about um, and obviously it's good for us and, and it's great for our customers to be seeing the economies of the cloud for some of their mission critical applications. So what's created that change? What's, what's driving that uh, move, movement of mission critical applications to the cloud? Yeah, I, I think there's a couple of things. One is the monitoring and the services that are becoming available within the cloud and, and also the technology, the underlying technology uh, continues to improve uh, within cloud environments and constructs. The other thing though is that people are just becoming more comfortable with using cloud technologies. I think uh, as companies uh, you kind of started using cloud for test development and, and for some of their website fronts, they become become more comfortable with it. And as a result of that, as their comfort level uh, increases, their concerns around security, their concerns around availability and redundancy, those are, those are starting to, to diminish as a result of, of just being comfortable with the cloud. Is there anything bigger than mobility that's driving this migration? Uh, I don't know that anything is bigger than mobility. I, I would say Mobility, even as it ties to, to gaming, as it ties to media, it, it all goes back to the accessibility through mobile. So I, I don't know that, I, I think that if you would say that mobility is driving it more than anything else, it, you're probably dead on there. Yep. Now, the difference between public, private, hybrid clouds, uh, where, where are you seeing more interest? Where is there more interest from the uh, community now? Uh, I'd say that we're seeing more interest right now in hybrid clouds. Um, we, uh, we launched a, a Hyper-V hybrid cloud in January of this year and have seen that business really take off. And, and the reason for that is we see businesses starting to move some of their production applications into the cloud. They also have legacy back office applications and legacy uh, homegrown developed applications that quite frankly can't be migrated to the cloud uh, seamlessly or easily for them. So as a result of that, they're building hybrid environments. We're also seeing compliancy and regulatory concerns continue to drive the, the private cloud with a public cloud uh, for bursting and, and DR capabilities. We're seeing that as kind of a growing use case as well currently. That is something that I've uh, heard around the floor this week is uh, 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 almost a resurgence in interest of uh, uh, in disaster recovery and especially DR in the cloud. Yeah, absolutely. Cloud recovery will drive the, will continue to drive the hosting space. Uh, for what we do as a business and for what our consumers need, the idea of providing cloud recovery at a fraction of the cost of traditional disaster recovery solutions uh, is, is, is considerable. And I think one of the great things that we have that's addressing that is our work with Microsoft is in Windows Server 2012, we, that we just launched a, uh, an evaluation period for, for IT developers to use, has vReplica built into it. And so even from, from a Microsoft perspective and, and the underlying hypervisor and the OS itself, to be able to replicate uh, easily between our data centers uh, and our cloud sites, that, that's kind of, that, that's the trend. That's what we're seeing, that's what we're seeing. We'll continue to see the growth. Most customers, almost every customer we talk to is, is wanting cloud, one, because of the inherent high availability that comes within our cloud, but there is this, this, this growing demand and use case and need and for, the, uh, for data center redundancy. And that's what we're working on today. And, and uh, disaster recovery, or what we're terming as cloud recovery, will continue to, to drive our industry and our business specifically. So when you talked a moment ago about hybrid clouds and some of the reasons uh, for the growth and the hybrid, uh, interest in hybrid clouds, are folks looking uh, to go beyond that and move everything to the cloud? Yes and no. I think it depends on the business. I think it depends, you know, you've got larger, more established businesses that will never move everything to the cloud. But we work with startups, you know, we really focus on fast growth SMBs, and as a result of that, many of them will put everything into the cloud, especially for startups and fast growth SMBs because of the cost efficiencies, because of the, the, la the amount of the, redu the reduction in management resources needed on their part, it's a, it's a cost saving measure for them and it's a way for them to quickly scale and grow the business. And it, because for many of them they're fast growth, their business is unpredictable. And so the cloud is, is, is a great start and a great way with, redu with a very small amount of capex required to invest in it. But I, I think it depends on business size. There, there are some businesses that will never go entirely cloud um, and that's, that's up to them. 
Um, but we, we see more and more uh, smaller businesses definitely going into a cloud environment entirely. Excellent, Aaron, thank you. Eric Lenask uh, with TMC coming to you from the Javits Center in New York. Follow all my conversations here from the Cloud, uh, cloud Expo on my Twitter account, at elanask.